Yo, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be going over the MLB slate on DraftKings for Thursday, July 5th. Uh, we have eight games tonight on this main slate. Hope you guys had a great uh, July 4th, spent some time with the family. Uh, I did that, didn't make a video on Wednesday, but back today for Thursday's eight game slate. Uh, we'll do like we always do, we'll talk about pitching options, uh, we'll talk about the pitchers we want to target on this slate, we'll talk about bats as well, stacks, BVP plays, uh, we'll cover all of that. But before we do get started, guys, make sure you drop a like on the video. I uh, would definitely appreciate it. If you are new to the channel and you have not subscribed yet, make sure you click that subscribe button down below. Uh, so that way you won't miss out on any of my new uploads. But yeah, guys, so looking at pitcher today, on this eight-game slate, we have three options that are over 10K. Uh, Justin Verlander, Johnny Cueto, and Tyler Skaggs. Uh, Cueto and Skaggs, are, I believe, are both going to be returning from the DL. Uh, Verlander also going to be pitching, gets a matchup with the White Sox. Uh, just looking at these three guys, I do have interest in one. Uh, Justin Verlander here at 13-4 versus the White Sox. Uh, Verlander is expensive, but this is a great matchup. This is a White Sox team that we know just strikes out a lot versus righties. Uh, they're a team that we've seen in the past and as of late. Uh, definitely be able to put up runs, but they've also really struggled at times. We've seen them go out there and just strike out a ton, just not be able to do anything offensively. Uh, and I feel like this could definitely be one of those games where the White Sox just don't have it. They only have a three implied run total for today. Verlander's a minus 265 for, uh, favorite. He should be able to get a win. Should definitely be able to pitch well and really pay off this price tag. I uh, love Verlander here. I think he can easily get 25 to 30 DraftKings points and definitely be the highest scoring pitcher on this slate. Uh, Skaggs and Cueto don't have interest in. Cueto, just a guy I don't want to pay nearly 12K for. Kind of the same, was, kind of the same goes for Skaggs. I'm just not going to pay near 12k for those guys when I can get Verlander at 13-4. Uh, and then after those three, it's a big drop-off. Goes down to Luke Weaver, next most expensive pitcher, who is only 7,900. Uh, so there's not really like any 8k, 9k, 10k pitchers. It's just a uh, top tier, and then it gets down to like the middle tier. Uh, but looking at this middle tier, I mentioned him, Luke Weaver. I do have interest in Weaver today. 7,900 in a matchup with the Giants in AT&T Park. Uh, great matchup here. The Giants do... Strike out a lot versus righties. Uh, they're going to be coming home to, from Coors Field, so they're getting a really big ballpark downgrade, pretty much going from the best hitters park, uh, what they played in these last few days, going back home to probably the worst hitters park in AT&T Park. I love Luke Weaver here. I think he has plenty of upside. Uh, Weaver's definitely a be, been a guy this year that's been very up and down. You look at that game log, last four games, 6-4, 26, and negative two drafting points. Uh, you really don't know what you're going to get from this guy, but this could be one of those matchups where he does perform well. 20 to 25 DraftKings points, I think, is a possibility for Luke Weaver here. Uh, and if you just look at SP2 on this slate, it's pretty gross. Even though Weaver is pretty risky, a lot of the other SP2s on this slate are very risky as well. Uh, Weaver, though, I like. Versus the Giants at 7,900, I think he is a good SP2 option. Uh, but yeah, then looking at the other pitchers, like, really isn't a lot I love besides Weaver at SP2. Uh, maybe Jeremy Hellickson against the Marlins you could go to. He's very similarly priced to Luke Weaver, only $200 cheaper. Uh, not a guy I have a ton of interest in, but I could definitely see him being a play since he's facing the Marlins. Uh, if we look a little bit cheaper, maybe like Marco Gonzalez, 7300 Don't love that matchup with the Angels, but it's a good pitcher's park. Uh, Gonzalez is a pretty decent pitcher. He's only 7300 Coming off a great start against the Royals, if you were looking to go that cheap, uh, I think he could definitely be a play. People might go to Shelby Miller because he's pitching against the Padres and he's only 6700 uh, But I doubt I'll be going there. Shelby Miller, not really a guy I believe in. So at SP2, it's Weaver, it's Gonzalez, it's Hellickson. Those are kind of the guys I'm really focused on. And if I'm paying up, it's definitely Verlander is my SP1. But then looking at the hitters that we want to target on this slate, I think there is some cheap bats. I really like the Dimebacks on this slate, and they have some good value in their lineup with a five implied run total. Uh, we're definitely going to look to that team for value since we paid up for Verlander. Um, the first guy that I like in that lineup is projected about second. Nick Ahmed here at 3,300. I think he's a really good play versus Eric Lauer. A really good value play at that. Uh, should be batting second for a team with a five implied run total versus a, a very bad lefty. Lauer's just not a good pitcher, not a pitcher I believe in. I want bats against him. I want righties against him. So Ahmed, Goldschmidt, uh, John Ryan Murphy, Marte. These are guys I'm focused on today. Uh, if I'm looking for value, Ahmed's definitely a guy I'm going to be playing for value. Should be pretty popular today, uh, especially if he bats second. But 
definitely think he's a good option here at shortstop if you're going cheap at this position. Uh, and then going to second base, more exposure to the Dimebacks. Really like Cattell Marte as well. Uh, he should be batting in the, in the middle of that lineup at 3,700. Marte is another guy I like here. Been very good versus lefties this year. And again, we're just kind of looking for some cheap value. We're looking for cheap bats. Uh, that's where Marte comes in. That's where Ahmed comes in. These guys are sub 4K, 37 and 3,300. Really good value, uh, especially if you're trying to stack up the Dimebacks. Looks like it's going to be 111 degrees. I'd imagine the roof's going to be closed, though. Uh, but it's definitely going to be hot in Arizona. That ballpark, even with the humidor, I still think is a pretty decent hitter's park. Like Marte here, like Ahmed, two very cheap bats from that Dimebacks team that I definitely want to have exposure to today. Uh, and then in the outfield, we're going to need more value. So uh, let's look to Nico Goodrum. I think he's a really good, cheap option here. Only 3600 versus Giovanni Gallardo, who is another pitcher I do want to pick on on this slate. Gallardo is also a guy that I don't think is very good. A uh, guy that I don't think has a ton of talent. I do like the Tigers here. Another team you can look to for cheap bats. Uh, pretty much besides two and three, Castellanos and Candelario. Everyone is dirt cheap on this in this lineup. Mikey Ma took at 3,200 leading off. Uh, v Marks 2,900. Goodrum 3,600. Jim Aducci only 3,100. Really good value from the Tigers versus a very bad pitcher. I uh, love Goodrum here. This guy has sneaky good uh, power. Seven home runs on the year. Does have a problem with striking out, but... Uh, Gallardo really doesn't strike people out, so this is a great spot for Goodrum. Batting from his left side, definitely uh, the side you preferred him from. So yeah, these are my five plays for this eight-game slate, guys. Uh, five guys I definitely think I am going to be heavy on. Justin Verlander, Luke Weaver, uh, Cattell Marte, Nick Ahmed, and Nico Goodrum. Now if we want to talk about some stacks and BVP plays on this main slate before we do get out of here. Uh, I mentioned the stacks I like. It's the Dimebacks and it's the Tigers. Those are the teams I'm really focused on. Especially trying to pay up for Verlander, we need value. Uh, and both of those teams have value in their lineup with guys that are dirt cheap. Uh, maybe if you're not paying up for Verlander and you can fit in the studs, the stud hitters, you could consider the Astros. Uh, but again, I really like Verlander on the slate. I want to fit in Verlander and the Astros. So they're not going to be a priority for me, uh, especially trying to pay up for Verlander. So yeah, look to the Dimebacks, look to the Tigers. Uh, two teams I'm like, I like for today, especially if you're looking for some cheap bats. But yeah, we'll talk about BVP plays as well. Uh, not a lot of them for an eight-game slate, just four BVP plays with at least a 10 at-bat sample. Uh, so we'll cover them all. Elvis Andrews, 4 for 10 versus Matt Boyd, and Adrian Beltre is 4 for 10 with a home run versus Matt Boyd. Freddie Freeman gone 5 for 11 with two home runs versus Julio Chassin, and Jose Abreu, 15 for 38 with five home runs versus Justin Verlander. And then PVB, the pitchers that have done well, uh, Jeremy Hellickson done well against the Marlins. The Marlins have only hit Hellickson for a 211 average through 95 ABs. Uh, Matt Boyd done well against the Rangers. Rangers have only hit Boyd for a 268 average through 71 ABs. And then Johnny Cueto, he has done well in the past versus the Cardinals. The Cardinals have only hit Cueto for a 222 average through 108 at bats. Uh, but yeah, guys, I think that's it for BVP PVB on this eight game slate. Uh, I think that is it for the video, guys. Hopefully. You did enjoy the video. Hopefully this video did help you. Uh, if you did enjoy, just make sure you click that like button down below. If you have not subscribed yet, uh, make sure you subscribe. Always uploading these videos daily, trying to get as much content out for you guys as I can. So uh, make sure you do click that subscribe button down below. Like I said, if you have questions, you can hit me up on Twitter, at the DFS underscore go. You can leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Always read in the comment section as well. So feel free to comment anything about this slate. Uh, comment anything, just any questions you have towards me in general. Uh, but yeah, guys, I think that is pretty much it. I think that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and we will see you back again on Friday, guys. Peace.